Hey Boss Babes, welcome back to my channel. It's the original Boss Babe Cleopatra and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing, um, for the first time, first time in my life, I'm going to fill in my own nails. Um, this is what they look like currently. Uh, yeah, I really need a fill in bad. I also have regular fingernail polish over gel fingernail polish. So it's going to be a process. So stick with me and I'll show you guys how I'm filling in my nails for the first time. So let's get started. Then the next thing I got was the Kiss um, Bubble Free Acrylic Formula Acrylic Fill In. It's a whole kit. It comes with a brush. It comes with the acrylic liquid, the acrylic powder and a file and then for safe measures i also got the total nail care system um i noticed that at the nail salon they're using uh of ones like these to shape it down and to buff it down so i definitely want to got got picked up one of these to see it's by equate um so yeah those are the things i'm going to be doing using to get my nails together Okay, babe, so this is part two of a two-part series of me filling in my nails. In the first part, I showed you guys how I removed the gel fingernail polish using the Equate Nail Care System. Um, right now, I'm just showing you guys the what's in the Kiss acrylic uh, package. There's the acrylic liquid. Um, there's the file. There's the acrylic powder. And also it comes with that little small brush, um, which I do recommend you use. Um, it's specifically designed for that. I did use another brush at first. This one looks more like the one they use in salon. So I wanted to try it out, um, which I don't recommend because um, I just don't recommend it. But like I said, um, this is a two part series. In the first part, I showed you guys how I use the equate total <laughs> nail care system to um, remove the gel fingernail polish which is very hard to do if you don't have a professional tool um, the in the first video I tried to use a maximum strength um, soak off which did not work um, it worked you know I alternated between the soak off and the uh, <laughs> equate nail care system I, I need to work on that okay so right now what I'm doing is I'm using the thumb file to file down my nails and just to get them the shape that I want do you see this nail right here that looks a little green that's not like finger rot or anything um, when I was cleaning my nail and wiping the blue fingernail polish off of there it got up underneath the nail and the only way to fix that is to crack it off and then um you know apply the acrylic but since this was my first time i was just a little bit too scared to do that so maybe in another video so i'm just cleaning up my station now um my nails are clean my hands are clean i went and washed my hands got all the dust off now i'm just gonna use a um cuticle pusher to push my, my cuticles out of the way so that i don't um you know catch my finger fingers with the acrylic i think it's better off in a smaller shallower bowl but i don't have one Okay, babe, so now I'm just prepping and getting ready to apply this acrylic for the first time. I'm going into the acrylic powder. Um, it was difficult to open. I do not re recommend you put this up to your face and try to peel it off with your um, teeth. Use a tool to open it up. Um, now I'm pouring the acrylic liquid into the top of the acrylic powder, which is much easier to use. You can see it's shallow and it's easier to access. 
Um, so here we go, starting out with this brush. This is not the brush that came with the kit, which I found um, quickly found out that it was a bad idea. Um, but what you do is you dip the brush into the liquid and then you dip it into the powder. I was supposed to wait just a few seconds to let the it dry just a little bit and then apply it into um, you know that open area that needs to fill in. Um, I dipped the brush back into the liquid and that helps to smooth out the acrylic in any bumpy areas. Like I said, once you first dip it into the powder, you're supposed to just wait at least a second or two um, to let it form and then you push it onto the open area that needs to fill in. And what you need to do is you have to keep pushing the liquid or the um, acrylic powder off of the brush or it will harden and um, dipping the brush into the acrylic liquid helps to melt off the hard pieces of acrylic um, so what well, that's what I'm doing I'm using the brush but then I realized that the smaller one worked a lot better and all you do is you just continue the same process you dip it in the liquid, you dip it into the powder, you let it dry for a little, for one or two seconds, and then you apply it to the space where you need the a fill in at. Um, it takes some getting used to. Honestly, this was just me. I have photographic memory. I did not watch any videos on how to fill in your nails at home. I just did it off of what I remembered from the nail salon and really that's truly what I did I just remembered what they did on my nails and um, I think it turned out pretty good for my first time I mean being that I had to do my left and my right hand so now that I've filled it in all the way you can see some lines and spaces because like I said the first powder that I used was the gel powder and then now I have acrylic powder to do the filling so you can obviously see those lines um and also with the fingernail polish getting up underneath my nails you can see that so you can see those flaws um it didn't come out as smooth as it does at the nail salon but from a distance you can't you don't notice these things unless someone says oh let me see your hands which i don't think anyone's gonna ask me to do that if they do i'm definitely gonna let them know i did my own at home fill-in so that's why they look a little janky but i mean from a distance i think they look pretty good and I think it was a good effort for my first time. So um, we'll see how this goes. And if this is something I'll keep up um, within the next two weeks, I won't have to because I have some good news to share with you guys. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, make sure to thumbs up this video if you felt like it was helpful. Um, this is a simple, easy way to do your nails at home if you you can't afford to get to the nail salon do your fill in um that week you know i think this is a good um i don't think it's a good replacement i just feel like it's something good to hold you over until you can get back to the nail salon so now i'm using this hard as nails um fingernail polish i will put it in a caption as to what the color is because i can't remember off the top of my head right now but basically it's a nice opal looking color where it's still a little translucent, but it has like a rainbow uh, film to it. Um, kind of gets your hands looking like um, shell, like coral shells, or not coral shells, but you know, like those little thin shells. Um, so I think it came out looking great, um, especially for my first time. Um, and I'm quite proud of myself um, for doing my left hand. Um, not too shabby if I say so myself. Please follow me on Instagram because these definitely look better in pictures. Um, and on Snapchat because that's where I show you everything I'm doing beforehand. Um, Instagram is bossbabe underscore Cleopatra. Snapchat is Cleopatra underscore baby. I hope to see you guys real soon. And thanks so much for watching this video. Mm -hmm.